Hey guys, welcome back to another week in videos. This Monday, like every Monday, I'm gonna share with you my weekly makeup basket and some of these products, I forgot about them for about six months. So if you're interested in knowing what I'm gonna be using and what I may love or hate on Friday, then just keep watching this video, thanks. So we're gonna start with primer. The primer that I'm gonna be using, face primer, I'm gonna be using is the Mary Kay Foundation Primer SPF 15. This is one of the products that I had that I haven't used in probably six months because I couldn't find it. Consistency is pretty much the same, so I'm gonna use it this week. Also, I'm gonna be using my makeup finishing spray by Mary Kay that I'm almost out of it and I'm sad to say that. I will be using two concealers. One of them is a corrector. This is from Pixi and it's in Brightening in Peach. This actually conceals all your darkness, bluish, purpley darkness. It's just amazing. And for brightening the under eye area, I'm gonna be using my, my Maybelline H Rewind in the color Medium. This is pretty good, but I think it's just almost out of it. I'm almost out of it as well. For foundation, I'm gonna be using the one that I couldn't use last week, which is the Wet n Wild Cover All, Cover All Cream Foundation in the color 10. For um, highlighter, I'm gonna be using this Liquid Illuminator by Mary Kay. This is pretty good. I love this illuminator. I use it for my legs, as makeup for my legs during the summertime, but this is my last tube. This was a limited edition, so I'm gonna be using it for my face. I think it's very, I don't know, golden and pretty. For eyeliners, I have three that are actually six. I know. If you haven't watched my haul, I'm gonna link it down below where I got these two Urban Decay Glide On 24/7 Glide On eye pencils. One side is black, the other one is brown. This one is gray, and the other one it's purple. I love this. I tried them um, yesterday, and I think they're pretty awesome. So. For liquid eyeliner, I'm gonna be using my Jordana Semi Permanent Liquid Eyeliner. For mascara, I'm gonna be using just one and it's a Maybelline Big Eyes. I bought this during the summertime. I tried it, didn't like it, forgot about it. So I'm gonna be using it this week and see if it's worth keeping it. For lip products, I have four. The first one is a lip balm and it's by M. Michelle Fan. Um, brand and it's in the color vanilla this is so so nice and buttery soft i love it for lipstick i have just one because i'm not a lipstick person and this is a mary Kay lipstick which is in color copper mine it's really old i want to see if i can make it work if not to toss it then for lip glosses i have two both are from mary Kay. the first one it's in the color gold rush this has a lot of sparkle I'm gonna try to make it work and then my Mary Kay pink parfait this one doesn't have any shimmer and I love the natural color I actually really enjoy this color so I wanted something safe for the week for blush I'm gonna be using my my bronzer and blush palette by elf in the colors at Lucia I have this in powder and the colors are totally different this is way too pale for me so I'm gonna be trying to use both of them as a blush. I like cream blushes. I feel like these ones are a little bit greasy, so I'm gonna try to make them work this week. If not, just get rid of it. For eyeshadows, I'm gonna be using as a base my Color Tattoo by Maybelline in the color of Bad to the Bronze. For regular eyeshadows, I'm gonna be using this one, which I don't know what the brand is. I don't know what this is. It's just a nice brown color that I use sometimes for contouring, and it's pretty good. It has great pigmentation. Like I said before, it rubbed off, so I don't know what brand this is, but I'm gonna be using this as an eyeshadow, and if I need it, I'm gonna use it as a contour. And then I'm gonna be using this NYX palette. It's a, like the 10 color eyeshadow palette in Caviar and Bubbles. This was one of my favorite palettes before I bought any of the Naked or the Lorac Pro. This was my go-to palette before I bought those palettes. For eyebrows, I have three products and if you didn't see my last Friday favorites or casual Fridays, I'm gonna link them down below because I talk a little bit more why. But basically, I'm back to my e.l.f. eyebrow kit. This is in the color medium. I'm gonna try a darker color once I run out of this one because I feel like it doesn't suit me that well. I don't know, just my thoughts on it. But the product itself works and as you can see, I hit pan on this so it really actually works. Then I'm gonna be using my brow gel from Mary Kay. This literally has like two more uses. If, if two more uses, it's just almost out of it. But I'm gonna try to use it for the week. 
And then my Jordana 12 hours made to last eyeshadow pencil in continuous almond to carve out my eyebrows. So yeah, I love this. My mom loves it, she wants one. I can never find them at Walgreens. I don't know what's wrong with them. They don't restock them. People go crazy when they see it, I don't know. So then for bronzer, I'm gonna be using this one. It's from Mary Kay, it's really old and I just need to see if I can make it work as a contour or if I'm gonna use it for the body during the summertime if it doesn't work for my face. So I'm gonna try this. And then lastly, I have an e.l.f. high definition powder. This is like a loose powder. I use it today and it reminds me why I bought it. It's amazing. It's just kind of messy. Anyways, thank you for watching this video until the end. I hope you have a wonderful week. I really want to try all this product and see and try to make them work. But don't miss Friday video so you can see what actually made it into my love of products and what didn't. So once again, thank you for watching and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Mwah.